market leader in the tractor business, Mahindra and Mahindra, forecasts a slowdown in the tractor industry, and this after three good growth years. Says FY19 will end with a sub-10% or single-digit growth, while FY20 will also in all likelihood be a single-digit growth year. Here's a slice of that exclusive conversation that Sonia Shanoi has had with the president, farm equipment sector at m and Rajesh Chejurikar. Take a look. When we're saying in the tractor business demand has been slow, we need to step back and see how the last three years have been. So we've come out of three years of good growth, 22%, uh, 18% kind of numbers, and the current year is going to be close to between 9 odd percent, around 9 to 10%. So we've seen a very dramatic growth in the tractor market over the last three years. Uh, the tractor market size now is close to 800,000 per year. Mm. Uh, very, very large size and a large base to operate out of. So when we say demand has been slow, we have to see it in the context of base and we have to see it in the context of the absolute size. Mm. Uh, yes, sales have been slow festival, se uh, you know, post-festival season, uh, lower than what we expected. Sure, we'll come to that. Before that, you said there's going to be about a 9 to 10% growth by the end of FY19. Yeah. Uh, what about FY20? Uh, do you think after three years of an up cycle, do you think this industry is getting into sort of a down cycle where we could see single digit growth in FY20 as well? We would expect F20 to be a single digit uh, year growth. We still haven't put a number on uh, what we would expect that to be, but we certainly don't expect a double digit next year. Uh, so we'll wait and watch and maybe by April we'll put out a number for next year, mm. but we expect it to be single digit. Okay, you know the big issue that the industry as a whole is facing, not just tractors but four-wheelers, two-wheelers, is high inventory levels. Yeah. I was talking to a couple of dealers who indicated that inventory levels in the tractor industry are, are as high as two months plus. Is yeah. that true? Uh, I, I think that would be true of the industry and I would like to say that that's not so true of us. Okay. And the reason for that is we've been very mindful and uh, as soon as we've seen that the festival season was slower than what we expected, we have started bringing inventory levels down. And that's happened through December, Jan, Feb, uh, all the three months. So what is the inventory level currently uh, compared to what it was, say, about six months ago? And has the company consciously cut down production to rationalize inventory? Our dealer inventory is in, our, in the range of our norms. Uh, which is typically in the region of 30 to 40 days. Okay. Right. So that's normally our norm, and we are by and large within our norm. Mm. Of course, when we talk about days, days is a function. Days inventory is a function of what your demand is. Mm. Right. So it depends on the base that you calculate it on. Mm. Uh, but right now we are very close to our norm, mm. and uh, we've made the corrections over the last. Uh, two, three months post-festival season mm. to adjust to demand. Yes, maybe a little bit more correction is needed depending on how we see quarter one. Mm. And we are in that process of estimating what quarter one will need. But uh, we've done most of our adjustment. So in production, in percentage terms, how much have you brought down your production by, uh, say, over the last few months? Uh, we, we haven't had to do any significant oh, correction have? in production okay. because we have done that as we went. Okay. Right, so because we were cutting back our billing to correct for dealer inventory, mm. we've kind of adjusted our production. Okay, so coming back to the demand situation, uh, tell us what's happening on the ground. Is it across the board where you're seeing a slowdown or is it disparate with respect to geographies? It is clearly disparate with respect to geographies. So some states have been hurt more by the rains and some others are actually not. Many of the northern markets, UP, MP, Bihar, even the eastern markets are seeing reasonable levels of growth. The slowdown has been the southern markets, mm. specifically Telangana, AP, Karnataka, and then on the west side. Mm. Uh, west side, uh, Maharashtra has been slow, mm. uh, Gujarat has been very slow, Rajasthan has been slow. So it's, you can clearly see a you know, kind of very region specific, uh, uh, and that's been linked with the way the rain has panned out as well. Okay. All right, that's the word coming in from Eminem. Let's continue this consumption discussion. And after seeing a muted growth for the last few years, consumer goods company Procter & Gamble seems to have turned the corner in India. Speaking to CNBC TV 18's Priya Shet, for the first time after taking over, PNG India chief Madhusudan Gopalan responds to rumors on delisting and simplification of organizational structure. Says that India has become a positive growth engine for the global parent. So far for the year, uh, our growth rate on top line is very bullish. Uh, we are growing at 15% plus growth in terms of top line growth. Uh, 
Equally importantly, we're very pleased with the progress on the bottom line as well. Uh, one of the things we're very focused on is balanced top line, bottom line, and cash result. Uh, and so far, the strategies that we've put in place have been delivering that balance between top line and bottom line. And uh, we're pretty optimistic that as long as we continue to delight consumers with the strategies we're working on, the results will follow. Well, ever since you've taken over, we've seen some sort of aggression that's playing out in the market. We've seen a 20 odd percent kind of growth, high double digit growth coming in for uh, PNG in India. Is this kind of growth sustainable in this complex market like the Indian one? Yeah. I think the drivers of growth as we look at it, first and foremost is driving the total category growth, right? And to drive the total category growth, we have to look at ways in which we can offer solutions to consumers that they're not getting today. Uh, and that solution will happen only if you offer them superior product at superior value and make those solutions available to them. When you look at the overall Indian market, uh, the contribution to global revenues is only about 2%. And I know that you've been working hard to increase the kind of share to the overall revenue. So is a 5% kind of figure possible over the next five to seven years? Is that a reasonable estimate? Very transparently, that's not a number that we are focused on, right? The number that we are focused on and what our, our global management is focused on also is how can we ensure that we disproportionately grow our India business on top line, bottom line, and cash. And as long as we do that, and we can do that only by delivering our strategies of superiority, productivity, and organization agility, I think we will be very happy with the result. What that means in terms of contribution to the global business, frankly, is an outcome. But I'm very happy to share that in the last two quarters, we've been a strong positive growth engine for the global parent, which has been recognized, and we intend to continue to do so in the coming quarters and years as well. Also, talking about your operating structure in India, you have two listed entities and one unlisted entities. Is there some uh, sort of progress in terms of simplifying the structure? Would you perhaps look at listing your third entity, entity as well? Yeah. Frankly, our bigger focus at this stage, and that's what you know, uh, uh, David, our CEO, has talked about as well, our bigger focus is in terms of simplifying our organization structure so that we empower our organization to be able to move faster, get more accountability to the uh, organization, uh, continuing to play on the category access that we've decided globally. That is an area that's been a key focus for us in India. A couple of years ago, there, have, there was some talk about PNG looking at delisting the India business. Is that something um, that is still uh, something that has been considered? Are there uh, certain talks yeah, around I, this? I don't want to comment on that uh, specific question. But what I want to reiterate uh, is our primary focus is on how do we make life simpler for our organization so that they can stay focused on consumers and customers. All right, so that's some commentary coming in from PNG. With that, we slip into a short break, come back, we get you a handle on the cues to watch from futures and options.